Yo, this tastes like What is up everyone? So today we're going to be trying out some coffee. Um, not just any coffee. We're going to be trying what is considered to be the most expensive, rarest, most sought after coffee in the world. Kopi Luwa coffee. So the other day was my 29th birthday and my dad knowing that I'm a coffee enthusiast, uh, he got me this bag of Kopi Luwa coffee. So if you've never heard of Kopi Luwa coffee, it is coffee that is extracted from the poop of an animal called the Asian palm civet. The Asian palm civet is kind of like a cat, but mixed with like a raccoon. Uh, and this animal, it eats uh, the coffee cherries and then it goes through its body and ends up pooping out the beans. And uh, the harvesters, they go into the forest and they collect the poop. And the poop, I, I looked it up, I looked up a picture, I'll probably post it right here. It looks kind of like, you know those candy bars that no one ever buys uh, called Payday? That's what they look like. Um, and they, they, they wash it and then they roast it and then it ends up being coffee that you can buy. And I guess what makes th this coffee the best in the world is that uh, it's either the, the Asian palm civet, it, it only chooses the best cherries to eat. And I've also heard that uh, there's something in the enzymes in the stomach that uh, breaks down the, the coffee proteins that are bitter. So you, you end up getting a, a cup of coffee that's smooth, the smoothest, richest coffee you've ever had. So we'll see if it lives up to the hype, if it lives up to the price tag. One cup of this, I calculated it, $50 a cup. $50 for one cup of coffee. So right here, I got like 70 grams of coffee and that'll only make me like two or three cups of coffee. So this is like over a hundred dollars worth of coffee right here. It's not even that much. It's crazy. So here's the setup we're gonna be using today to brew our coffee. We got the Bonavita Gooseneck Variable Temperature Kettle, uh, the Barazza Encore Grinder, we got a Bodum Cup, uh, the Hario Scale. We're gonna be brewing today in the Hario V60 with the Hario Decanter. Yo, Hario, sponsor me, man. And of course, we got our stir stick. There's our coffee. So, like I said, we're gonna be brewing today in the Hario V60. We're gonna be using our Barazza Encore Grinder. Uh, we're using a dose of 22 grams of coffee, ground to the consistency of sea salt, a little bit finer than drip. Uh, we're using 360 milliliters of water at 205 degrees. Uh, we're shooting for a brew time of two and a half to three minutes. So here we go. So first thing, I'm going to open up our bag of coffee. Take a smell of it. Smells like coffee. It smells earthy. It looks like a like a medium light roast. It looks pretty good. It smells good. So we're gonna measure out 22 grams. Take another smell of this. Yeah, it smells really earthy, um, chocolatey, nutty. It smells good. All right. So our water's up to boil. I'm gonna rinse out our filter. Rinsing out the filter, it gets rid of all that papery taste. And it also, at the same time, that warms up the, the brewing vessel and the, the pitcher. Gonna level out our coffee bed. And here we go. Start the timer. We're starting with about 50 grams of, of water for the bloom. Gonna give it a little stir just to saturate all the grounds. 30 seconds, I'm gonna start my, my first pour. So we're reaching a minute 30. I wanna finish up at around 150. Uh, 360 degree or 360 milliliters of water. I'm just gonna let that draw down. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my 
my mug, because no one likes a cold mug. Yeah, so it's just about finished up. We're at two minutes, 50 seconds. So at first glance, it, it's pretty dark. Um, like I said, it's, it smells really earthy, uh, nutty. I'm gonna let it cool down before I drink it. All right, so here's a look at our brew in the sun. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dark. Yo, what are you doing? Why on the table? You're, you're sunbathing, boy? All right, so I've let it cool down a little bit. I'm gonna give it one last stir. So here's the first taste. It's still pretty hot. Um, here we go. Kopi Luwak coffee, cat poop. Whoa, it's really smooth. Uh, really strong, like bold coffee flavor, but the finish is smooth. Like this is super easy to drink. Um, Earthy, nutty, a uh, little chocolate in there. No poopiness, no poopiness at all. I don't taste the poop. Kind of like a syrupy mouthfeel to it. Like really, uh, yeah, really syrupy mouthfeel. So final thoughts on the Kopi Luwak cat poop coffee. It's pretty good. Uh, is it my favorite? No, but it's good. It lives up to the hype. Uh, it's smooth, really easy to drink, super flavorful. Um, I'd give it a solid eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. Yeah, it, it's, it's really good. Uh, is it worth the $50 price tag? Uh, probably not. But if, if you get a chance to try it, I'd try it. Uh, yeah. Kopi Luwak coffee, cat poop coffee. Uh, cheers. Mm -hmm.